These pred catches are getting out of hand. Some of them are fake though. Like these are always the ones that are like just fake. It's so fake. Jinkies. Chrome. Lost his glasses. Jinkies. Uh, they pay like homeless people like twenty dollars. It, dude, it's disgusting behavior. They pay homeless people like twenty dollars to participate in their little TikTok video. Oh, school. It's so dehuman. Like. Into today, Alan? Why are you doing this? Because you're a no, I'm not. You can't even be a little boy talking about how many guys you guys are interested in, man, okay? I'm not interested. I just want to go home. You think I'm selling you something? Yo, these pred catches are getting out of hand. They had this man crawling like he was looking for a revive in Fortnite. They got this <laughs> man doing the Velma special. They got this man on the floor in a Target yelling jinkies. That is actually embarrassing. And what's even more embarrassing is that this man was out here saying, I'm not interested, as if he didn't just try to link up with a teenager. He's acting like this man is some sort of door to door salesman. I mean, I did try to meet up with a little boy, but I'm not interested. But like, you just like, don't know. No, you don't know because you don't have the proof of like them actually showing you what they're catching him for some of them are are actually just trying to say that the dude that they have on there is a pred like oh my god it's humiliating dude the things people will do for money so gross not trying to sell you something he's trying to get you locked up in that slammer my guy but if you thought that this was crazy when i tell you these pred catches get even more insane lately there's been a whole new wave of pred catchers and instead of just embarrassing these predators like chris hansen skeeter gene or predator poachers why are you black yeah it's probably a angry or something people are now just straight up beating up these predators you just you said maybe that's not that big affirmative or disavowed you keep Point that finger at me, and you're gonna get your ring. What's wrong with you, bro? Now, maybe isn't a good answer to try to pick up with little, pick up little boys, is it? Is maybe a good answer? We gotta try to take off here. Yo. Going down. Oh, he's trying to pick up little kids. Oh, I missed. <laughs> this man's trying to pick up a little boy on the internet. Oh my God, what is? wrong with you this bro this one genuinely cracks me up every time i see it the way that this man just gave him the pimp slap of death mid-sentence it also cracks me up how this man literally just swings misses and says "Ooh, i miss oh i missed like it's some sort of arcade game <laughs> like bro and to top it all off this man just runs him into the table like peak entertainment if i do say so myself here's another pred catch where this predator yeah but it's still assault up. who used your picture and told them that little girl that you was gonna be here right now I don't know, bro. All right. Talk. You don't know? Do you want to get the police involved? You don't know? You think I'm Bro, stupid? buddy, the police should already be involved to take care of cases so things like this does not happen. No, I don't think you're Okay, stupid. so is some CIA agent using your picture or are you using your picture? The other night, I was talking to somebody on... Um, and what? And what? Thing. No, hold on. And what happened? So, so, so you're not here to, you're not here to meet a 13 year old girl? No. My bad, Josh. My bad, Josh. Oh my god. Bro. Um I bro, I'm still an advocate on just like Letting the police handle matters like this, bro. The second you start taking them into your own hands, now he's going to get away. He's going to get away because he was assaulted, right? And now he can just sit here and and probably sue the guy uh, or press charges against him, anything. This is what lets pred like preds get away. And for what? So you can make your little TikTok clip about it, like you're letting them walk the streets. I I want them all to a hundred percent to be locked up, but doing stuff like this makes it impossible for them to get locked up. It, it's a joke, dude. Like holy.
for is lying out his ass. Excuse me, everybody. Oh, this my. Little girl. Right here came to be the 13th girl off the app whisper. You on the farm, right? So you, you used to write that. Oh my god. Now the two main pred catchers that are beating on these predators are a guy that goes by the name of Jay Cardicom DAP and Shua Mundy. And if you thought that they couldn't get any crazier, there's another pred catch that they did where they literally hit this man with a Walmart cart. You thought you were meeting a 13 year old boy tonight? Don't grab my phone. Why'd you thought why'd you gonna meet a 13 year old boy? Why are you gonna meet a 13 year old boy? Oh my god. And with these pred catches, there's even moments where these predators will even try to fight back. Now, when it comes to these types of pred catches where they're putting their hands on these predators, yeah, they get away. Two sides to it. Some people think that maybe these pred catchers are going a little too far and they should just get the. I am not one to side with a pred, okay? But this is too far. Let police handle it so they don't get away in situations that are favorable for them. They put their hands on them. They get to walk scot-free, bro. Like, it, it's unbelievable. The evidence and let the police do the rest of the work instead of beating on these predators. Even though these preds are bad people and they're trying to link up with children, some people are saying yeah, they're they bad people. beaten on at the end of the day because it's just straight up unprofessional. They should just embarrass 100%. the predators and give the paperwork to the police. Like 100%. A professional approach. But then others think that the police isn't doing enough slash these preds aren't really getting what they truly deserve. So these But is a couple beatings what they truly deserve? that's that's a low ball dude that's a low ball like i i don't understand why people think that oh yeah they're getting what they deserve that's it a couple neck slaps and maybe a fist fight like bro uh, what they would have done to the child is way worse like what like what do you mean these beatings are pretty justified. Those are like the two main sides I'm seeing. Now, I will say I do understand both sides and I do believe these predators are deserving of these beatings because at the end of the day, like I said, they're trying to meet up with little kids. That is disgusting and that is illegal. Why are you as a 40 year old man trying to link up with a child? Yeah, that is disgusting. A teenager like that's just straight up disgusting, my guy. But Imagine a simple beating is not enough. Show up and a child showed up instead. What would have happened? That kid would have been traumatized. Something really bad would have happened you know but at the same time i do think that these beatings are very dangerous because you never really know what these preds have on them also a lot of people have crash out tendencies nowadays yep. it'll be nothing for chris handsome to blick up the spot after they get exposed since their life is already basically over there's actually a situation where a predator actually shot one of these individuals it was i believe it was jay carnicom during a pred catch basically what happened they caught this predator in target and they started following him around once they saw him and eventually confronted him. Yo, is that Dante? Hell oh, yeah. Hell yeah, that's Dante. Oh, and once this predator notices that they have a phone recording him he goes to reach for the phone and they kind of start to get into like a little scuffle and once that happens the cameraman drops the camera and intervenes so you can't see much but you can obviously hear what's going on still hey, what's up? What's up, boy? then mid scuffle you can hear a gunshot go off watch out and unfortunately, one of the pred catchers got shot in the leg. Now, I don't think the shot affected the pred catcher as much because after he got shot, it sounds like they still continued to like wrestle a bit with each other. <laughs> and after they were done like wrestling with the guy, they eventually ended up taking his gun and the predator ran off. Got shot. Or something. <laughs> I got the gun away, brother. Bro's adrenaline is peaking. 
I just gonna kill all of them. Huh? Now, obviously, this predator did get exposed, but at the same time, one of the hunters were shot, and it could have been way worse. And this is why I understand that side where people think that the police should really handle these situations. Because yeah. it's like, at the end of the day, this could have ended terribly. It really could have. Luckily, it didn't, but it easily could have. There's actually a pred catcher that was killed, and he went by the name of Bupak Chakur, or Footage Gang 248 on Instagram. And a lot of people suspected that he actually died died during a pred catch a quick summary of like his content basically what he'd do he'd catch predators in michigan by posing as a underage girl online once he meet up with these predators he'd embarrass them slap them break their car windows or even slash their tires and one day when he was out he walked into oh a diner God. and he confronted this group of two one was 16 going on 17 and the other was 18 years old and that confrontation turned into a fist fight and then that fist fight turned into a shooting the 16 year old actually shot bupak and then later on that night bupak ended up passing away like i said people suspected that his death was from a pred catch there's no real confirmed evidence from the police to back up that uh -huh. thing. but i started to do a little digging with this because i just thought it was pretty interesting now some sources are saying that bupak actually accused one of the two of being a pedophile and that's why he punched the guy. That's what one source is saying. Another source, which is an Instagram comment on his most recent post, which I mean, that right there could already tell you like the validity of this, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. The comment states that a predator that he caught before maced him in the situation and Bupak saw him in that diner and that's why he confronted him. And then that's when the whole altercation happened. Now, okay. my takeaway from it, if this death was from a predator catch, then that's just another example of why the these vigilante predator catches are pretty dangerous but if this death wasn't caused because of that then i mean we can just throw it out the window you know this right, has yeah. nothing to do with a predator catch you know he was a pred catcher but his death wasn't caused from a predator catch you get what i'm saying but yeah let me know what you guys think about these vigilante pred catches in the comment section below i i don't think i agree with the vigilantes i think that the police just need to do better All these pred catchers are just clout chasing wannabe cops doing it for likes and views. They need to stop harassing innocent predators and get a real job. That's my take on it. Dude, that is a solid take, man. Skeeter John, that is a solid take. Couldn't have said it better myself. That is that is a, a an extremely solid solid take, bro. Yo, W video. W video, man. They are getting out of hand.